welcome to Soundwave TV. Once again, we're here in Sydney uh, with the mighty Des of Devil Driver. How are you going, Des? Good. Thanks for having us. We had a good time today. The show was amazing. Awesome. Was there a circle pit? Huge. The whole place was massive, jumping up and down. This is a great festival. Well, I think Devil Driver's got a pretty long and beloved history with this country. Very excitingly, new record, number nine in the charts. Pretty awesome. Yeah! This is my first top ten record ever. You know, we're number nine. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I got woken up at 2.30 in the morning to a call. <laughs> It said, get up, and I, I was up jumping on my bed, you know, but we, we love coming down here. We've worked real hard, so it's good to see it pay off, and the fan base is just rampant right now. For the first few years, you went out and supported absolutely everybody, you know, yeah. you, you kind of started again, and you, you know, it's, this is testament to the fact that you've built it once, once up again, the best way how, live shows. Yeah, I think it's important to do that, you know, mm. I, we could have gone open and, and just started headlining or whatever, but it's important to grow it organically, one fan at a time, one handshake, one show at a time. Are you guys going to come back on a headlining tour in support of the record later this year? Yeah, or? We're, we're talking about maybe January and February, we don't have anything confirmed yet, but we're also talking to bands to put together a good package, we'd love to see it happen first of the year. I played a lot of festivals around the world. This thing has run really well. The fans get everything they want. There's 68 bands. That's unbelievable, you know. And there's and it's all sorts of music, you know. So I think that's that's a really cool thing, you know. And I think they did a great job in the lineup this year. Mm. Kerry King just walked up and shook their hands. And there's a lot of bands out here with their families, though, yeah. with their wives and children and stuff. And it's like a really family atmosphere. Come and meet the beautiful Mrs. Des, Miss Anastasia over here. This is May I remember her from Do Cold Chamber her? cover? Anastasia is one of the coolest rock wives on the planet. We got to we got to do this We've thing, you know. We've been together a long time, Matt. We've been together almost 14 years. She yeah. was on the second Coal Chamber album, the cover of it, and we've been together ever since. And you know, I got I got two beautiful boys. I got three beautiful boys. Two are with me right now. Through the airport and everywhere else, people are really stopping to like take pictures with my kids and and talk to them. The, the singer from 30 Seconds to Mars took time to take pictures with them and said, you know, said to Simon and Caleb, like, come on up on stage and watch me. And you know, yeah, there's a real kind of cool atmosphere. So how are you finding Australia, Anastasia? I love it. I'm so in love with this place. It's beautiful. The weather, the beaches, it's amazing. Amazing. I'm ready to move right now. <laughs> Excellent. So um, we're going to start a new chapter of Devil Driver, the Australia edition. How did you guys meet? How did we meet? Yeah. Oh, okay. This story has to come from her, <laughs> man. Yeah. She, uh, I saw him at a funeral, thought he was uh, just devastatingly handsome and thought that was a very inappropriate place to come on to someone at a funeral. So my mother, who was a witch, told me how to uh, bring love to me by taking a mirror and a white candle and casting a spell, and that's what I did. Um, I just pictured his face. I had no idea who he was, just that he was just beautiful. And uh, <laughs> a week later to a week the day. Later, I went to Ozzy's house for dinner, uh -huh. and his assistant was going out for drinks at the House of Blues. So I told him I'd go with him. I'm sweating right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I went, and I went, yeah. and I went, and um, I was walking out, or she was walking out, and I was walking in, and we just stopped, and I said, That's it, you're gonna be my wife. She goes, You're gonna be my husband. And, Awesome. And then we dated for about four months, and I was living in the Beverly Hills Hotel at the time, <laughs> and she had no idea what I did. You wouldn't tell me what he did. Yeah, so she's like, look, if you're a drug dealer or whatever, I, you know, I, I got to know what you do or whatever. Yeah. I got no, I'm in, a, I'm in a band. And the next night, Pantera picked us up on their bus, and we went to a Black Sabbath Pantera show. She was like, holy shit. And she'd been dating me for like four months. <laughs> what have I got myself into? It was amazing. Yeah, yeah, it was great. He went up on stage with Phil, did walk. I mean, I was just like, it was an amazing, amazing first date. <laughs> <laughs> and 14 years later, Still rocking. Later, still rocking. Still oh, rocking. It's and like the day I met her. I'm yes, so in it. love. I'm so in love, man. Awesome. Well, if Australia you loves you guys too. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. you. For all you men watching, if you got a strong woman in your life, you're going to do much better. <laughs>